wanted um, to use this opportunity to highlight uh, the power that women in South Sudan actually have. I think many of us uh, might not be aware that um, the power of women in South Sudan is very much uh, linked to the role they play during the struggle. As, as many uh, know, um, internationally we call the decades of war in South Sudan a civil war. Uh, for many in South Sudan they call it um, freedom fight, uh, and many of them call it struggle. Um, the years of struggle uh, and the battle uh, that took place for freedom is what you would say, um, is uh, a freedom fight that would never have been won without the women of South Sudan. What many people don't know is that they were the backbone of South Sudanese society. They were the ones running the communities, taking charge of everything, making sure that the children grew up and had at least the minimum of what they needed, and made sure that um, actually the movement, uh, the SPLMA, had what they needed, and they made sure that they were cooking for them. Now, I'm not making a judgment about what's right, right and wrong in this, uh, in, in this struggle, but what's important to note is that the role of women in South Sudan has been underrated. Uh, this would never have been possible without the role they played. And the backbone of society uh, is the role of women all over Africa. Uh, without their role, uh, societies would crumble. Um, and it's absolutely fundamental for us to know that the strength of women rests with that them being that backbone and them being that constant power in the communities and in their families. Now, the challenge we have is when peace comes, suddenly that role is no longer recognized. And so from being the actors and the power of the communities, you become spectators of a political game that you never participated in. And that is the challenge. And I think all of us are struggling with finding um, a way to both acknowledge the role that you women in the South Sudanese play, and acknowledging that that empowerment process should lead you into leadership positions in the new and independent country and not into being spectators. And here, that transition, in my view, has not been successful. Um, we have seen some very good and important, uh, I think, steps made, as I think Prince and Lyman very ably explained, and Andra as well. There was strong commitment in the SPLMA to have women representation with 30%, 25% and 30% respectively as the goal. We have now seen the transitional constitution follow that up. We have seen that the new government of the Republic of South Sudan, which was appointed on the September 1, have out of the total of numbers of ministers, 30% representation. These are pretty good numbers, but we're still seeing that the powerful position that women took during the years of the struggle is not really uh, now reflected in the current political environment in South Sudan. And I think it's time to stand up for the women of South Sudan to make sure that the important role you play during the struggle is an important role that you deserve to play, but you also <coughs> should play in the future of your new and independent country.